Hey everybody, uh, it's Friday afternoon, uh, hot sticky day again, about 98 degrees, so what's better on a on a hot sticky day than a than a bre refreshing uh, sour Brett beer. So I'm going to try one, just came out, um, it's the Lost Abbey New Belgium Brett beer. This is the New Belgium version of it. Um, Comes in at seven and a half percent ABV, a little bit from the website. Now on the website they call it Breta beer, but on the bottle it just says uh, Brett beer. So uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, the best part of collaboration is discovering mutual passions. With lobby with Lost Abbey, it is the wild Belgian yeast Brettomyces. The Lost Abbey collaboration is brewed simply with pale malts accompanied by Target Centennial and Sriracha Ace hops. For a hint of citrus, but the Brettomyces is a spotlight. A full Brett fermentation offers full, offers bold pineapple overtones and a funky sour edge. The shining golden shade is specked with haze, and the beer is warming and dry. The Lost Abbey collaboration is full of wild wonder, and will leave you wanting more. It says birth date July 2012. Uh, Seven and a half percent ABV. I already said. Hops or Target Centennial Sriracha and just pale malts. So uh, let's get this in a glass. See what we have. Just a plain New Belgian cap like they put on everything. So hold on. Here comes the Ranger. Hang on. Oh, okay, I'm back. He just walking around saying hello. Um, I'm right here at the 15th hole of the uh, Frisbee Golf Course or, or 15th tee. So anyway, let me get this. Uh, New Belgium in a glass. Looking forward to this. I said just plain New Belgium cap. I've already got some of those. Throw it in a trash can when I when I get done here. Well, that's a nice looking beer. That's a really nice looking beer. Got a hazy yellow got about a little over a finger of a kind of a fluffy white head uh, lots of lots and lots of tiny tiny bubbles streaming up from the bottom um, fairly evenly dispersed around the glass sometimes you'll see them come right up the center but uh, really really nice looking look, looking beer almost looks like a, a saison or something like that so we get a nose on this and see what we have Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm getting those fruits right away, I guess, from those hops, especially the uh, Sriracha Ace. That's a, I under, understand that's a really, really nice one. I'm, I don't know that I've had it, but getting a little peach, a little mango, a little apple, maybe just a, almost like a overripe banana. Um, some really nice uh, fruity, fruity uh, smells here. Some... Uh, Almost like uh, pineapple and lemon uh, in there, but yeah, those uh, those tropical notes are really, really coming through. Um, might be just a hint of uh, lemongrass, some little white pepper, uh, some really earthy, spicy notes come through in the through in the end. It's good smelling beer, so let me uh, give this a taste. I've been looking forward to this. Okay, you get that, yeah, really soft, tart, citric character, um, probably from both the hops and, and the yeast. Sweet, bready, almost honey notes at times. Um, fresh green apples, really, tar really tar almost tart mango f uh, flavor in there. Not much of the Brett Funk. Um, I'm going to have to pick up a second bottle and let it uh, sit and let the, because this is fairly fresh, so it hasn't. The bread hasn't really worked a lot, but um, a little bit of that that funk there. But it's um, it's light. It's really not intrusive. Um, there's almost a a light saison or or wit beer type of uh, type of taste to it. Um, really nice. It's uh, light uh, light to medium, light medium body. Really smooth. 
decent carbonation so I'm gonna get a cap in this bottle because I'm not gonna drink this whole thing now and I'll sit and let this uh, let this work for a little while and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and great okay I'm back it's been 15 20 minutes I just been sipping on this um, I took a little uh, look took a little video of the, the 14th hole uh, back to back to the tee from the 14th hole like I said I'm sitting here at the 15th hole of the golf course so frisbee golf course um, I'm an old school I know they call it disc golf now but uh, I'm old school it's still frisbee so um, this hasn't warmed up a ton I've stuck it back in the back in the cooler taking it out had a few sips put it back um, haven't drank a lot this is not going to be a fast drinker there's a, there's a lot going on here this is a really really nice beer um, uh, at the at the moment I wouldn't call it a good Brett beer but um, it's really nice like like I said uh, in the first part it's it's really really like a nice uh, nice fruity uh, uh, saison right now but very nice and refreshing um, getting that those citric characters um, it's warmed up some the bread has come out just a little more but not much um, I would like to get another uh, another bottle of this and uh, age it for all six months or a year I'll bet those Brett characteristics will really come out and make this really nice but right now it's just like a good refreshing saison um, there's that breadiness um, all those citrus flavors the pineapple lemon mango um, almost like uh, fresh green apples um, pineapple just um, maybe even a bit of a uh, bit of uh, some uh, lemony citrus in there too almost like lemongrass or something I don't think they use lemongrass but there is some lemoniness to it but it's just a nice fruity refreshing beer at this point uh, not a ton of like I said not a ton of that Brett Funk but um, it's it's a uh, it's a darn good beer. Um, I, I really would will like to will eventually get a get another bottle and get some age on it. I think this is a one time one time deal, and I wish I could uh, get the get the Lost Abbey version to see what they did with it, but unfortunately we can't get Lost Abbey here. But I'm gonna give this um, Lost Abbey New Belgium collab Brett beer. If I can get that turned around, there we go. I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to give it a good solid 8.5 out of 10. It's a decent, solid, drinkable beer. And uh, like I said, I'd be uh, really looking forward to uh, trying one with some age on it. So maybe that'll come in the future. I do I still do have a couple of those Boulevard uh, Saison Bretts sitting back. Um, I, I reviewed those when they came out fresh. And I've got a couple sitting back, just letting them stay in the fridge there and uh, and age a little bit. I may do one like at six months or something or whatever. It's been quite a while since they came out. So um, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, until next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer. And I did want to show you since I've... I've done so many out here on this golf course. Here's the uh, the 15th hole on the golf course. And if we take a slow pan around here, there's a bridge right there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm, I've never, never been very good with this zoom on this. But uh, There's a bridge right there, and there's the the T on the other side of those trees. You can just see it right there. Yep, there's the bridge. So this is one of the more challenging holes. They've so got some pretty good holes on this golf course. So um, nice little hazard there. I'm sure there's a lot of frisbee stuck down there in the gully there in the trees because that's a pretty deep gully that you gotta got to get over so just thought I'd show you that just as an addendum